my blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Please. Jesus. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. I, I at least thought you'd look better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know you're glowing, but you're still gross looking. Got eyes like a cat. Have you not seen the big glowy jelly baby? I guess <laughs> what the hell is happening? Help. That is the funniest thing ever. Too funny. Mummy. Mummy. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'd say that too. Oh, great. Thanks for waiting. Wait for me. Pretty close then. Here? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Thanks, weird ghost thing. Else am I missing? I can see the horse's hoofs. Ah, oh, there we go. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here and going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Oh, okay. <laughs> can we keep him? I mean, he's grossly ugly, but he's also kind of cute in a glowy way now. Sorry, she. There you are. You're not... Oh, sorry. Don't haunt me. It's the tongue. I can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tongue. Can we run faster? Or, you know, float faster. Follow the glowy baby. Oh, these are new. Arthur Fage has had a field day. Still worth a closer run. Oh. Hang on a minute. Hurt. What do we have here? Right, so now I know when you fight those things, run away before they explode, because that hurts. Bones have been here a while. 
chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. <laughs> behind us. While he's running around, I'm just gonna have a drink. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Where are you taking me now? Knock, knock. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Hey, it was locked. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That, sir, came at night, right, Mummy? A <laughs> quiet boy. A uh, girl who stayed with you, what happened to her? Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Yeah. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. Wonder if she I was bled out. in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high. And still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Why did you help them? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. 
beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our oh horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Right. That was a big long story. <laughs> I'm sure half the vocab he used was unnecessary, but fine. He set the scene. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay. I'm getting shoved about by half naked kids now. So, does that mean we've still got our little glowy mate outside? Yep. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Please, just go. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, that was a bit of a marathon. Um, but we got there in the end. It's, this was very strange. I don't know really what to say about this. It's I suppose if you're going to involve gruesome beasties, at some point you're going to involve children and babies. But the fact that they've done it the way they did, it's kind of a little bit like it made my stomach turn a little bit. But anyway, I'll get over it. So, yeah, so we now know what's happened to the mother, we think at least. I mean, if she's been dragged off by that beast, there's no way she survived that. I thought she'd bled out from the miscarriage, but if she'd fled to begin with, maybe maybe she hadn't. Maybe that's what attracted the beast. Um, and Tamara's in Oxenfurt, apparently. So, stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.